Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man Prime Time, and you already know you on Prime Time Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on into this thing, shall we? Man, oh man, Oscar Valdez, boy, boy, boy. People don't like this decision at all. I thought that maybe, you know, it was going to chill a little bit. You know, people were going to relax on it. Nah, they turned up on this decision for real. Look, <laughs> you know me. Hey, I'm just sometimes online for the comments. They amusing to me. I just sit back and laugh. You know, I chill, eat a little popcorn, and bam, I done ran across boy old Shacky Foster. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. He said, so they give a wrestler a two-year suspension for Fetamine doping violation, but Oscar Valdez still gets the fight. Mm, mm, mm. And he shared the link to go read up on that. Hey, that's a 2005 situation. But anyway, on to that. Hey, he got a reply from Victor Conte. Oh, man. He done broke the whole situation down. Like, yeah, U.S. wrestler was suspended for two years using stimulant fetamine. What did W? BC Boxing do zero investigation before making a Oscar Valdez decision. Mm, 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 mm. And then Mike Coppinger, he done chimed in on it like, how can anyone argue with this logic? Fetamine is a performance enhancing drug. It seems many are confusing the term PED with anabolic steroid. They are not synonymous. Many stimulants enhance performance. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then Michael Fox, he done chimed in, a professional boxer that was just kind of cheated out by a dirty judge. But anyway, that's a whole nother conversation. He says, boxing is the wild, wild west. Racist judges, champions getting to keep their belts after popping for PEDs? What do we even have sanctioning bodies and drug testing for? Wow. Yeah, and it's kind of looking like that, my brother. I feel you. And then uh, old Shacky Shot Foster to hit everybody again with, how does ESPN allow Oscar Valdez to fight on their network after testing positive? We know promoters, sanctioning bodies, and boxing commissions are corrupt, but this is wrong. Andre Ward, Tim Brad, Jr., Mike Coppinger, Mark Kriegel, no T. Stand for something, fall for anything. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, and then, you know, people all over the world is chiming in on this thing, you know? So it's, it's just, it's crazy. You know, it, it's, it's really, really, really crazy. And then how about J-Rock, you know, <laughs> you know, Julian, he done chimed in. He said, I'm confused. Now, can I use Fredermine and still fight or only Valdez? Serious question. LOL. Huh. And Victor Conti, he replied to J-Rock Boxing saying, you should be confused, Julian. The WBC follows VADA rules for years and then suddenly for what appears to be financial gain through VADA under the BUS. In my opinion, this WBC Pat English and Bob Aram led fiasco needs to be fully exposed for what it is. Corruption. Wow. Wow. You know... So, hey, it is what it is, y'all. Y'all see what it is. So, with that being said, 
We're going to keep up on this story. I'm going to keep bringing it to you and keeping you up to date with it. So definitely, you already know, be a part of the Primetime family. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And hey, I'm on all social media platforms. Follow me there too. I'm out, y'all. Peace.